Get all of this information at your fingertips. It's free on our ABC 15 mobile app. No hay? Allison, speaking of free, let's talk about balancing the budget. It's something that we all try to do. Some of it are better at it than others. Some of us are. Uh, so this morning, it really just all depends on uh, knowing which prices are going to go up and down to help you plan. So Eric Palmer is with me this morning, and you're a financial educator with OutlookAdvisors.com. Right. Good morning. Thanks Good morning. for joining us. Thank you. So let's talk first when it comes to planning. What do we expect to be cheaper this year? Let's talk about the big things that we use all the time, so food right so there's specific yep. types of food out there that we expect to actually see a pretty dramatic decrease in price things like eggs 10 to 12 percent decrease in, in 2017 that's a good thing um, beef is another one that we actually expect to see the price come down quite a bit so depending on uh, what, where your diet's at what yeah. kind of food you like those are items that you can pay attention and to. beef is a big one because that can get really expensive when you're budgeting and, and heading out to do your food Absolutely, so and it's nice. one of the broader ranges of food that we actually consume on a regular basis. Another big one is avocados. We've all been struggling at the grocery store with right. the avocados. It's a big part of healthy diets We've today. We've got the Super Bowl coming up. You're going to make massive amounts of guacamole. Absolutely. So the prices for, for things like avocados and some vegetables are actually going to come down as well. So um, those, are, those are good things that we want to see right. in trends. Of course, on the opposing end, we right. also see some, some food prices coming up. So mm -hmm. things like poultry and dairy, we mm. actually expect to see those prices increase. So when you're looking at your diet for 20 17 and what you're going to yeah. you know, be, be ordering at the, at the restaurant or yeah. purchasing in the grocery store, uh, pay very close attention to the specific types of food because it could actually impact the amount of money that you're going to spend throughout the year. Now let's talk about prices of, that are also going to go up, other things that you should watch for that would cost you more. Things that are going to go up, rent and, and home prices. That's you know, rents are expected somewhere nationally up about 3%. Mm -hmm. uh, we think home prices are going to go up nationally somewhere around 5%. So as, as our living expense, our mm -hmm. fixed living expense goes up, we have to look for other ways to save. So best way to plan for your budget? What's something that you can change right now and do? I think the, the biggest thing is focus on um, where we're going to spend bulks of money. So travel's a big one, right? Mm -hmm. uh, a couple of different airlines, Delta and American Airlines, are going to be actually creating an economy fair. Now, there's a there's a caveat to that. You right. can't, you always got to give on something. You can't check any bags, and you can't, uh, in most cases, bring on the carry-ons for free. But okay. if you're going to travel light, you can maybe change your vacation plans, not to be so much long-term, mm -hmm. but perhaps a couple little short vacations over the weekends. That could actually save you some money, but still give you that vacation time that's very much needed. That's helpful for those weekend getaways when the summer comes. Absolutely. All right. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Uh, and if we want to know any more tips, um, outlookadvisors.com, the best Outlook place to head. Outlookadvisors.com, absolutely. All right, great. Thanks so much. We'll be right back.